swapping a swimming suit and cap for a jacket and scarf. The retired athlete is now studying part-time to be a sports psychologist. It's a lot of fun. It's all about experimenting. I feel like I'm a kid fresh out of high school, you know, like what do I want to do with my life and what job do I want to do? So it's kind of exciting. And she's on the hunt for a full-time job but can't pinpoint what exactly she wants to do. Still finding my feet in the real world, so we're sort of wrapped up in cotton wool as athletes and a lot of things are done for you. So in terms of real world, it's, it's a very different reality. So I'm um, still finding my feet and still working things out, things that I'd like to do or, you know, things I haven't tried before. The four-time Olympian and gold medalist is in Tasmania encouraging children to get a taste of swimming in the hope they'll fall in love with the popular sport. Hopefully we get the next Liesl Jones. I mean, the, uh, yeah, the fact that she's down and, and encouraging these swimmers to, to come into competitive swimming. Jones is going to the Commonwealth Games, but this time as a commentator and to spur on her friends. Career highlight would have to be winning Olympic gold uh, for the individual. I'd done it before in relays, but obviously doing it individually is a pretty big step. It took about eight years of hard work and uh, crazy diet. Jones says for those searching for their new career like her, work hard and don't give up. Jessica Amir, Win News. It's uh, 